Hey, tell them, tell them what's good. Tell them what's up. Tell them what you got going on. Um, oh, this hard. I said, let me get my camera first. And then you got my nah, brother. Cut, oh. cut, cut, cut the camera off. Cut like, the <laughs> That's the man, Dominique. Man, Go ahead and shout yourself it, out, bro. Wait, wait, where's this going? This on social media? Yeah, man, going on like Hey, man. <laughs> Say, man, follow you on IG, man. Success underscore Hunter. You can find me on Facebook as well. Uh, Dominique Hunter, man. Appreciate it, man. What you doing? Trying to, trying to get something done with the guy right here. Most deaf, most deaf. The man right, himself. We're going to do this again because my car is dirty and it will not be on footage. It'll be on the, be on the uh, This is the all vlog stuff. This it's is all vlog stuff. Oh, this is authentic. You still got to wait the this is the this is dirty. this is the the beginning stages no. of you know where Derek came from. Kids got crap all in the car. It's all, this it's, it's cool. understandable. It's the blooper reel. Uh, shout out to the editor, uh, blooper reel. Well, here's the thing, Derek. <laughs> Vlogs, anything can happen. So we're here today to do some headshots with my guy uh, Dominic Hunter. Uh, but before we start, let's talk about a little of my stuff, a little bit of my equipment. So we have the Godox. I like Godox. They have good prices uh, for good quality uh, equipment. I had the AD200. I had this for about two years. Uh, as you see, it's been through two years of, uh, we've had a toxic relationship. I dropped it twice. But all the time it went good, I dropped it on an accident when the wind blew. And then I had one shoot where somebody was sitting right there that wasn't in the shoot. Saw it falling. I'm on a, some ladder, a ladder, trying to take a picture. She sees it falling, and she looking at me. She looked at me to see what I was gonna do on the ladder, but she was right there. She didn't try. But anyway, that's a whole nother conversation. That might not even make the tape. Just anyway, I have a, I have a few different soft boxes because it's sunny outside. I went with the smaller soft box. I want to say this is uh, 24. Um, so I went with the 24 soft box so that I get more like. Because the bigger it is, the softer it is, and I don't really need soft light when it's harsh like that. I hate to overpower by uh, using high speed sync a little bit. Like I still want a little light, but I'm using high speed sync. And if you know what that is, if you don't know what that is, I have another tutorial about that. But high speed sync allows me to get uh, more of my light, makes me darken the light around us, the ambient light, and add more uh, strobe light. Camera bag is kind of junky. One day I might do a camera bag tutorial, but I have. T6i, two T7i's. Uh, I don't have any super duper lenses, because that's the thing. You, there's some people that got all these expensive lenses, and they still don't know how to shoot basic stuff, you know? There's some people that still that have L-series 70 to 200 lenses, and still shoot auto. They don't, they don't work like that. So uh, one thing I'll tell you, that lenses are great, but your ability to get the shots and to know how to work with clients is great. I'm gonna get this set up. I probably want to do a little less talking until I start talking about posings. Uh, but yeah, that's what we got. So what's it like handling like a whole bunch of uh, shoots in one day? Like how do you organize yourself like what's important for people to, to know whenever you got like a, a lot on your plate and to be as organized as possible. Drugs. It speeds you up. Unless you, uh, nah. Uh, basically, <laughs> basically it's organization. It's <laughs> escalating. <laughs> really just literally first organize your day, communicate with people, and then just not stress over it because what's going to happen, you need to speed up. You need to be efficient because you need to speed up to be able to do things because what happened is people have a misconfusion of time like this took me 10 minutes i have to consider that when i'm traveling when i'm moving around and i can't allow anybody to assume for myself or my client to assume that things are just so quick because sometimes they take longer but during the christmas season each week i had about five shoots and most or more i had five shoots or more and most of them lined up in the weekend there was one particular day that i had five shoots i want to say it was five shoots in one day uh definitely five shoots a weekend the editing was the biggest thing. It wasn't even the shooting. Like, I could show up. It's the editing and getting trying to get things back. So I try to get things back quick because uh, that's just what I do. I don't like to sit around on it. So, uh, so yeah, it's really just organiza organization. But the biggest part is keeping your anxieties down. 
because mind you, you shoot and shoots, but then you also have personal life. You might have kids, you may have uh, family, you might have other responsibilities, you might have another business or whatever. So it's really keeping that anxiety down and just remembering you asked for this. There's two places that sucks. When you ain't got nothing going on, you got too much going on. So when you ain't got nothing going on, you be like, oh, I want to do this. All right. Then when it happens, you see these people be breaking down and these entrepreneurs be getting all frustrated and, and stuff because it's actually crazy when you have a lot of stuff going on. You have a lot of people have expectations. You have shoots that you need, but then you have other people that wanted you to show up somewhere else on a personal level. And now you don't want to make it sound like you're too, so busy that you can't be personal. So anxiety is what you have to worry about both at the bottom and at the top of your career. Back to the wall, shoulder, shoulder, shoulder to the wall. Think about posing, so it's interesting because we're going for headshots this time, right? right? But posing has levels to it. And I might do another video about this. Posing, especially for a woman, you have different parts. You have your, this part of your body, the torso area, and then you have your head area. And they can do different things. Like right now, just where he's at right now, his torso is lean, his legs, and then of course you have your legs. Uh, and then his head, we can tilt his head different ways. Um, his shoulder could twist more, but you always want to have your body parts doing, there are three divisions doing different things. And then like I said, there are subdivisions in your division. That's why I said you have the lower body, your leg can do this, this, whatever. You have the torso, it can turn this, it can go like this, it can go like that, it can lean, or your whole body can lean, and then your head can do this, 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 whatever. Now, headshots, we're gonna get to the faces. Because when you're doing headshots, you, you have different looks. And right now, I'm probably going to eventually move him from the sun because I don't want him to have to strain too much. Um, but, but, yeah. I'm a, I don't want to fight myself, so I'm going to bring my aperture to 2.8. 50 millimeter lens. I'm going to start off with 640 shutter speed. And then for my flash, I'm going to start high. I'm going to start at 1 over 4. And make sure we're on the right one. I'm about to say, nah, this man turned the head hat back. So those are different looks too. Your head going up or down. One can be like, I'm cool. One can be, uh... now, if you do like this, it's like you're leaning in. It's like you're like, like excuse me? Like, what you say to me? What you say? What you? Yeah. <laughs> on. So why the sudden change in location? I kicked out. You didn't see the last part of the video? No. Nah. <laughs> we, got, we got kicked out. Uh, injection. Injection is good. Is it because we black? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically, basically, no. Nah. Good news is we didn't have to pay because he's a good man. The good thing about photography, you got to adapt. No, you don't have to. You know. See, it all works out. Rejection is direction. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Earlier when we was up there, the sun, when the sun is no clouds, when it's cloudy, everything is like a soft box. Everything is even light. There are no shadows. If you notice, you shouldn't see, if you see very light shadows when it's shady. That's if it's bright and cloudy, but if it's cloudy, uh, it's, everything is pretty much a shadow. Therefore, any light that you add or whatever is just natural. It's kind of all over. When the sun is out, just like you see the ground over there, you see shade, you see light, and I'll say same things happen with the face. One of the flash does allows you to get even lighting over the face. Now, if you have a whole crew, you can get somebody to hold up a, a reflector or something like that. But when it's just you, it makes sense to just get more money, get a flash and uh, or a mono light or whatever, and flash it so you can even lights. So I will put it on the dark side of the person to even out the lighter side of the person. There are sometimes conflicts with adding light because sometimes it's too much, it's too harsh, it looks fake. If you use it right, you'll make it look like it was natural light to an extent. But there are sometimes you use flash to make sure that it specifically does not look like a shadow, like especially at a golden hour. You get the same thing, you might look up. I ain't gonna say 
innocent, because that's you don't want to go innocent, but you want to go like sympathetic. So sympathetic face might be just like. A sympathetic face is like disappointed somebody. Like you're not sad, like you're sad, you're just disappointed. So it's like it's kind of just your eyes are kind of open. You're kind of down, but not really. So disappoint. So take it out of your eyebrows and just just go like this. So keep it wide open. Not wide open, I guess, but uh, just kind of. I do the close mouth a little bit. Man, man. That one is just like. Ooh. That's make me look, I don't know. I mean, half time in the movie, they gonna switch that type of stuff in. That might make you bald. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Hey, how you doing? Work it, work it. Work right. It. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hold it. See, look what you did. Look what you did. You made him happy. Hey, yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm about to say, I know, I know we all felt it. I know we all felt it. Uh, when you think about headshots, it's just like when you're thinking about like uh, when somebody said, "Hey, I want pictures for for flyers," right? You got to consider that it's not just in your hands. So you got to try to study. Like I could do a bunch of pictures just based off of what I know, but that has nothing to do with what talent is looking at. And then, and I'm gonna go to another point. And then when I'm doing the flyers, I have to consider when I learned how to use Photoshop, I now understood what causes issues and what doesn't cause issues. This is the last shot. You know how they do like uh, pictures where it's like different versions of you. I'm gonna try to do that. In order to do that, I need a, I need a, uh, what you gonna call it? Extra stand up real quick. So I want to get the height look first. All right. Now that's how. Now that's. How. So you intentionally give it that dramatic look. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, shoot went good. I think it went good. I believe he thinks it went good. So now it's time to go edit. I may take y'all through a one or two edits of the uh, of the photo. Like I might find something specific. We got something to work with. Man, it's always great, man, with DC, man. We try to create, you know what I'm saying, some good material. This guy here, this guy here is the GOAT, man, for real. Like, y'all seeing one of the best photographers come up right now, for real. But it's always a great time with my guy creating. You heard the man. I didn't say that. I don't brag about myself. But he said it, so uh, y'all believe it. Are you going to say book me, but book me. If you're going to book me, you're going to book That's why I don't tell people to book me, because you're going to book me or not. You're going to see my work, or you're going to book me. The website is www.dcluxphotos.com. Uh, go to the inquiry section and fill out your information. We'll reach out to you, uh, and we're ready to work with you. If you're in Dallas, reach me, reach out to me. Hit me up. If you're specifically in the Oak Cliff area, reach out to me. If you're in the Arlington area, I live out in Arlington. Uh, hit me up. But I love being out here in Dallas. We just finished doing uh, headshots for the uh, actor Dominique Hunter. We want to reach out to him. What's your What's your social media? Uh, success underscore Hunter at IG and Dominique Hunter on Facebook. Success underscore at IG on IG and Dominique Hunter. Hunter. <laughs> success underscore Hunter. Now I'm gonna tell him. The cameraman tell me in the description. It's gonna be in the description, but I'm gonna tell you. Success underscore Hunter. This is the screen. Success underscore Hunter. At IG Dominic Hunter on Facebook. Don't be jumping in his DMs. Like I'll be jumping my DMs. No, <laughs> it's about business. If you have movie ideas, hit them up. Don't be jumping in DMs. It's about business. You can jump in my DM. You can find me on uh, DC underscore Lux Photos on IG uh, or Derek Chambers on Facebook, as well as DC Lux Photos on Facebook. 
uh, with my, for my business. Uh, we do weddings, portraits, everything. Get hitched in 2021. You found your man or your woman in 2020, and it's 2021. Y'all ready to tie that knot? www.dcluxphotos.com. If you got a birthday and you trying to get lit, trying to turn up, but you want a nice photo shoot, you want to get all dolled up, all that type of stuff, take a photo, www.dcluxphotos.com. If you just had a baby, because 2020, you was in the pandemic, and y'all got nasty, and now you got a baby, and that baby came out, or you were still pregnant, www.dcluxphotos.com. You...